The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. Now, when you first start orientation, you'll hear that you need to gross no less than $7,000 to make a fair paycheck, and that's true. But good luck doing that. I used to be able to get that, or close to that, but then it just stopped after a few times. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And we have another controversial company, Super Eagle, story for you today. Coming by way of a Facebook post, and this anonymous person says that they're making three to seven hundred dollars a week as a lease purchase driver with controversial company super eagle they said in the same post that they supposed to be making at least 15 to 2500 a week and i agree i agree you're you're working at controversial company super eagle as a lease purchase operator you're supposed to be making that kind of money obviously they're not giving you the loads to account for that kind of money that you should be making you're making company driver money while you're supposed to be a lease op i don't get it i don't understand it i try to understand it but sometimes I just don't get the reasoning why people still give controversial company Super Eagle the benefit of the doubt. Is it because controversial company Super Eagle is the best leasing company on the planet? Or is it because they got drivers over there that claims that they are making all kinds of money? What is it? Why is it the allure? Now I know some of you guys have some issues some major issues which this particular anonymous post says that they had and that's why they decided to give controversial company super ego a chance now a lot of you guys probably might end up being in a sap program y'all probably got beat by another black ops company and so forth and so on i i don't know I don't know that's just your story and if you have one by all means share it here on the lockout men channel by way of email that's lockout men podcast guests at gmail.com and we will be happy to share your story so guys thank you for listening if you guys like to join the channel which i appreciate my members very much they are the ones that shows the most support they also the ones that get the videos quicker they will see it first before anybody else sees it you can join the channel by hitting the join button and letting lockout men know that you rocking with the channel i really do appreciate you guys stay tuned for the story and at the end of the story let me know your thoughts in the comments below until next time everybody the views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the lockout men channel the recruiter call channel nor its host this site content is for entertainment educational and informational purposes only hear the music i currently have been with super ego for eight months now these fools need to be shut down. I can't count on one hand how many checks I've had over $1,000, otherwise I'm making between $300 and $700 a week as a lease purchase driver, from experience as a lease purchase driver. I should be making between $1,500 and $1,000 a week after expenses, and that's if I ran legal.hours. Not doing 10s and 34s and running 70 to 120 hours a week. I should be making more not less. I got fed up. My truck is as basic as it gets cuz. I wanted one with a warranty. Only way a truck will have an appu or inverter or a fridge or anything in it is if another driver installed it. I got my truck with 13 miles on it, fresh off the lot, never hooked to a trailer or driven down the highway. I have put one 3 ok miles on it in 8 months if that tells you anything. I work and then work more and sleep very little in between. 
I have rarely any time for my own shit like laundry or showers. It's always drive for 13 hours, deliver load, maybe sleep if you're able to. Then maybe pick up next load and nap and after get another nap for a total of 6 hours of sleep max or deliver your load and then sleep so you can pick up next day but still only gonna get round 6 hours sleep. After that 6 hours sleep, get your load and hit the road and drive 16 hours for a next day delivery and it's only paying $1000. I have hit my point with these fools, I don't agree with their shit. I don't agree with having to pay for tires on the drive and trailer, or tires, fuel, and washouts on the reefers. If I lease a trailer then fine, but not if I have to rent the trailer. Oh, and if you want to swap trailers, they charge you for that too. Even if they make you swap trailers, you get charged for that. Not including fuel, I pay between $3,000 and $4,000 in expenses every week. My truck gets a max of 6.3 mpg. And no, it's not a 389, it's a damn Cascadia. So I pay to $1,000 to $3,000 in fuel every week, depending on how heavy my loads are and where I'm running. And I only gross around $5,000 to $6,000 a week before all those expenses. Now, when you first start orientation, you'll hear that you need to gross no less than $7,000 to make a fair paycheck, and that's true. But good luck doing that. I used to be able to get that, or close to that, but then it just stopped after a few time. Now I fight to grow $6,000 a week, my pay is such shit, I've only been able to afford to wash my truck at Blue Beacon twice since I started. So I'm leaving these fools, on my last bullshit load that they're lucky I'm even doing. I have an accident on my record that's only a year, and a half old, so I can't get hired really anywhere, but I'm not about to suffer with these fools for another 6 months. Ain't gotta worrying about risking my CDL no more. Are they the best company? No. Are they gonna pay well? Probably not. I'll probably be underpaid, but I also won't have to risk my CDL or risk my life as much doing it. Only good thing I have to say about Superego is no more have to drive 700 to 1000 miles in a day. Well, good luck people. If you're smart, don't go to Superego or any companies based out of Illinois. Well, I wish you luck. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.